But can we talk about Bryce Young real quick? Yeah. Yeah. Right, so, let's talk uh, about Bryce Young. So he was obviously benched after week two. Yeah. And I remember, I remember watching the 2022 <laughs> college football. What? <laughs> trash. <laughs> Ronnie Bell is still trash. I remember watch. We were watching the 2022. We watched a lot of 2022 college football games together. Yeah. And I remember like everyone was like talking about Bryce Young going to the NFL, and you were like, "What are you talking? About? There's, he's not even going to get drafted." I was. And just, after you yeah. said that, I was like, "That actually makes a lot of sense." Yeah. And then when mock draft boards started coming out, he was number one, and I was like, "What?" What? It was just, it was, I was absolutely stunned. And don't get me wrong. Like I have been watching, I've been following Bryce Young's career since he was in high school at modern day. Yeah. He was like the shit. I was, I was very surprised when he committed to Alabama. I was like, damn, Alabama was really sunken into the, um, like fast quarterback, the West coast, offense. the West coast recruiting pool, like oh, the California it. recruiting pool. Now they're getting guys from Hawaii, like two, yeah. right now they're getting yeah. guys like Bryce Young from yeah. modern day. Yeah. Like, you, like the fact that USC let a modern day quarterback go to like get away basically, or like Alabama was able to come in and recruit that is yeah. is an, is an is an absurd. That would have been yeah. unheard of like not that long ago. Mm -hmm. Um, but so you know he goes to Alabama. He's fucking awesome there. But the the fact of the matter is that like man, he was a small guy, and that's exactly what I was saying. As well as things were all saying, is it's just things like, that you just cannot change. No matter how good you are, you are five ten. And like, don't get me wrong. It's like there's always those edge cases. There's going to be a guy who's just a bad motherfucker like Baker Mayfield. Yep. There's going to be just dudes who are just bad motherfuckers. But even like that guy's always Brees. built. Like he can take a hit. And, but yeah, Bryce Young is slight. He's small. I was just like, and the fact is like, all right, he's drafted at all. That's fine. But I thought it was going to be like a third round, second right, round, yeah. third round. The maybe maybe late one, first. Late first even would even late be first, like if a team's acceptable. desperate for a quarterback. Yeah. Fuck it. Instead, the Panthers traded away picks that then led to the Bears drafting Caleb Williams, which we'll see if that was a good pick, I guess. They gave Still. away... But so much, value. so much. It's it, it will go down as the worst trade. Yeah, when you when trade. you look at that trade, and it's like holy shit, it's insane. And you bench the guy after Let's one see. year. Let's see. Let's look it up. Like, well, well include like that images. that receiver went to the Bears. Hold on, there's, there's images people have made that. Are okay, like, yeah, yeah. But they they leverage their entire future and use the number one overall pick they got in exchange for it on a five ten guy who looks like he weighs one hundred and sixty pounds. Isn't that fucking insane? Just here's here's what the Bears. So the Bears traded the number one overall pick and the number nine overall pick in 2023. Yes. To the Panthers. For the next year's one. And the Bears received DJ Moore, offensive tackle, Darnell Wright, cornerback Tyreek Stevenson, quarterback Caleb Williams, who they drafted, right? So they ended right. up using those picks. A punter, Tory Taylor, and they have another second round pick next year. Just so the Panthers can draft Bryce Young, 5'9, 180, Bryce Young. I think people got, I think nerds have invaded the NFL. Um, yeah. Nerds have already invaded the NFL discourse. I feel like they've started to invade the NFL's decisions mm -hmm. um, to the extent where you think that the game is that skill based. You're wrong. <laughs> Making personnel decisions, thinking that this is seven on seven or in a combine, you're wrong. Yep. Um, it's not. This is a very violent, physical base game that moves very fast and has some of the fastest, strongest human beings on earth. All right. So if you're gonna use a number one overall pick, you got sometimes you gotta think about like what's a more defensible decision to make. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like draft CJ Stroud. <laughs> Six three, six four, whatever. Ohio State, blue blood, plays great in big games. Yep. Has all the physical tools. Maybe yep. some tweaking here and there, or draft, <laughs> or draft Bryce Young, who's one hit away from never playing again. Absolutely amazing. Especially Against one of the worst offensive lines I've ever seen in my especially life. when you see how good CJ Stroud has been so quickly. The Houston went to the playoffs his first year. Yeah, CJ Stroud's a shit. Like. Um, Come on, you fucking idiots! But again, uh, but I feel like Tom Brady. You know, there's like this thing that came up recently where he made was critical of how people are playing rookie quarterbacks too soon, and I agree with that. Oh, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. dude, this guy's like 21, 22. You're gonna put him with grown fucking men who have been playing this league for years. Yeah, they don't give him time years. To, they don't give him time to develop and just send him out to the wolves. Years to get bro. feasted upon, and then once you've been 
Shout out to the like you can't go back and like develop because now you you have like you're traumatized a little bit. So that's the thing is like, like I'm actually I'm up. glad they benched him because I think it's the best thing that getting benched right now is the best thing that could possibly be happening to Bryce Young because it's the only thing to counteract the worst thing that could have happened, which was being drafted by the Carolina Panthers. Yep. Right? They're a terrible organization, <laughs> terrible team. You so it's probably better, and I feel like that's it, I think is honestly the benching seemed now I think about it, it seemed almost merciful. Like, hey. Let's yeah. put Andy Dalton in there. He's a veteran. He knows what's going on. He could avoid pressure and not like, you know, like fucking, he could feel pocket pressure and understand how to play with the offensive line that maybe isn't great because he's seen yeah. a lot of things. Seems like there's some tur- turmoil. Maybe they're just trying to be like, let's preserve his tra- trade value. Let's sort of get him out of trouble. Let's like preserve his confidence. But he needs, I think he needs to go somewhere else. He needs to be a backup. Maybe he needs to get built back up. He needs to learn. And then he needs to have know, a Sam Darnold. For to have a ghost chance in hell, right? He still has all the physical limitations, but like, you hey, know, we, you hey, put we, him on the Niners and he's probably hey, all right. We, we've seen this before. Dude, Sam Darnold is having, a good, <laughs> is having a good year with the Vikings so far. And that man was down bad. He played for the Panthers. Exactly. Like, so you see, so it always, I feel like people need to rework the narrative when it comes to like, especially quarterback. All right, you're a D and you suck. All right, you're probably a bust. But like, <laughs> yeah, true. right. You're probably yeah. just a bust because yeah. you can't Because that's just one on one. Can you yeah. beat your guy? Like, exactly. Yeah. But quarterback is so uh, structural. It's so institutional. To the sense where, like, like, yeah, you see Sam Darnold, you see Geno Smith, right? They played on the Jets, and Sam yeah. Darnold goes to the Panthers. You know who else played for the Panthers? Baker Mayfield. Yeah, exactly. Right? He plays for the Panthers. Not great. Everyone thinks he's washed. He plays for LA for one week, and he looks better. He lights it up, right? He plays with Sean McVay. He has a fucking offensive-minded coach. For one week. Knows quarterbacks. He has better preparation. Now he's at Tampa LA. Bay, and he's doing okay. He's doing all right. Yeah. Um, Geno well, Smith, it, right? Dude, it's just like it's so it's so clear like how like much organizational basically competence affects your like like the Texans, when that all that shit happened with Watson, they cut their losses very quickly and immediately it was like started to figure out a new plan. Got Demico Ryan's in there for the now Niners. And three years in the less than three years later, they have CJ Stroud they're going to the playoffs. They made a great coaching hire with D'Amico Ryan's. They're all star for the Texans. Dude, they're before. all star they're all star quarterback, they're franchise quarterback, basically committed like sex crimes and they're already back to the playoffs less than three years after that. We got to move on. Right. Meanwhile, conversely, right. You got the Browns who are like, exactly. Give the, me some of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I'll take your fucking, like you fucking, it's like, you guys what ever are learned? you doing? You guys ever learned, bro. Do you know why they got rid of it? <laughs> it's like, <laughs> we can fix him. You draft like, Johnny Mantel you, and then you just never, you guys just maybe, never maybe he goes to the Patriots. Maybe it works. Okay. But the Browns do not have a culture to handle that fucking CTC, situation. And to be fair, the only draft pick they've had that was really high that they didn't fuck up was Miles Patriots? Garrett because he's the DN. Well, oh yeah, the Browns. Yeah, yeah. Because <laughs> it's just easy to tell yeah. if someone's good at the end or not. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Very, very straightforward calculus. But um. But anyways, yeah, Bryce Young, yeah. man. I think I wish him the best. I'm glad for him that uh, he's out of a bad situation. I know. I mean, I feel like everyone knows what it's like to be in a work situation that it feels like you're not being put to your in positions to be successful. It feels like the institution is dysfunctional. The organization they're in is dysfunctional. That things that should be there are not. Yeah. Right. Um. 